Stephen Aidam, uh, welcome. Welcome on board, Stephen Aidam. Welcome on board. Uh, this is very quick one. Uh, I won't take much of your time today. Uh, very, very quick one. Uh, so if you just join, kindly um, try and then tap the share button and share to your friends, your family. Please uh, kindly do that for me. Yes, uh, kindly do that for me. Mm. Yes, Stephen Aidan, I see you. Uh, today I'm going to discuss with you um, one of the most powerful um, herbal treatment for um, one of the most powerful herbal treatment for you know prostate uh, enlargement. You know prostate enlargement or the prostate is one of the most important and essential organ in in human body, especially in men. Women don't have prostate, you know, prostate. It is only uh, men who have prostate. I hope you understand. And uh, the prostate plays about, you know, three major roles. The first major role of the prostate is to release or to, is to secrete uh, a fluid called semen. Okay, yes. It is the prostate which produces the semen. And then another importance of the prostate is that um it also helps you know to 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 the semen okay the semen which is produced by the prostate you know uh helps to sanitize the woman's you know pecus you know anytime a man is having something with a woman before there's going to be you know an ejaculation this semen will travel first and go and sanitize all the areas in the pecus before the what the sperms what will flow into it so the prostate is very very important the prostate gland is very very important now when the prostate gland you know begins to develop an issue one of the complications you may end up you know suffering or experiencing is um, difficulty in the urine urination or urinating uh, you find it extremely difficult whilst you are urinating you realize that uh, when you get to the washroom as a man instead of you you know to 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 start or instead of the urine to start flowing you know automatically the urine will take some time uh, it will take some time before it begins to work to flow sometimes it will take few seconds like 30 seconds uh, after you've opened up you know your zip and bring out the joystick you know, you have to wait for 30 seconds before the urine will begin to flow. It is not a good thing. It is not a good sign. When as a man you begin to see this kind of signs, please, it is an indication that your prostate is, is enlarging or your prostate is getting, you know, somewhere. So you need to be very careful about it. So difficulty in unit and not only that, sometimes you may feel that uh, you may have to squeeze yourself. Uh, some people, when they are urinating, as if they are fighting. Uh, you will see them, you know, struggling before the urine will come. Anytime you struggle before your urine will flow, it is a complication. It is a sign that your prostate is enlarging. So you need to do something about it. But don't worry, we have the solution. That is why I have brought you here. I will, and then another. Um, complication of you know prostate issue or prostate enlargement is you know dribbling the urine will be dribbling instead of the urine to flow straight it will rather be dribbling uh, dribbling like this uh, anytime you realize that your urine is dribbling or your urine is not flowing straight uh, it is a clear sign an indication that your prostate is having you know issues so you need to do something about it and then I think the last or the major one, which is the extreme one, is difficulty to unite. Uh, yes, when, when all these signs, you know, are coming and you are not able to pay much attention to it, the difficult one. And another one, before we come to the difficult one or the main one, is that uh, you realize that your, your, your power in, in the other room will begin to go down. You cannot perform well. You can't power well. 
anytime as a man you 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 initially you were able to you know go for for long initially you were able to you know um power your woman anytime you go for long 10 minutes 15 minutes but now you realize that your performance in the other room is going down you know maybe check it is your prostate your prostate is having issues especially when you begin to see that you are finding it difficult to urinate or you you always squeeze you always squeeze yourself whilst urinating or the urine takes about 30 seconds before it begins to flow and eventually you realize that your performance too is not going on well automatically it is a clear sign an indication that your prostate is having a problem therefore you, you need to do you know something about it but don't worry the solution is here so don't worry and then back to the major one the major sign the obvious sign of prostate enlargement is that you can't urinate you cannot urinate the urine will not flow you will be having the agency the feel that you want to urinate the bladder will be fully you know full and you go to the washroom you open up your zip you take out the joystick at the end of the day the urine will not flow the urine will not what will not flow and when you get to this gender the only way your urine can can come is by way of putting catheter in your system they will insert a rubber called catheter to what to by falsely you know draw out the what the urine and i always say this there is nothing painful huh? the only painful event or situation compared to this is when a woman is you know in labor the woman will tell you i think these are the two most painful situation every person you know don't wish to you know experience going you know delivering delivering child delivery is very very painful according to our our mothers according to women but another painful event which no man should experience is where catheter is being inserted in the what in the in the joystick very very painful according to those who have experienced it so i don't really want you to reach there so the moment you begin to see that you are finding it difficult to urinate anytime you visit the washroom you take 30 seconds before the urine will come and when the urine is coming to it doesn't flow with you know pressure it doesn't flow with power and then your urine begins to dribble it will come and stop come and stop and so on the moment you begin to see that please I visit any corn, you know, corn uh, uh, farm. Mm? As you can see, we have found ourselves in a corn farm. So, you see, there is this, you know, part of corn. Any corn, you know, cone you see, you see a corn silk. You see a certain silk. This, this is a corn silk. Yes. So, this is your solution. Huh? You can see this. So, you see the corn. And then on top of the corn cone, you see a hairy substance like a, a silk, a hairy, like a human hair. And it is called a corn silk. It is called what? Corn silk. Yes. So we are going to use corn silk to treat ourselves. The moment you begin to experience those, you know, symptoms, difficulty in urinating, delay in urination, dribbling of urine, and so on and so forth, please make sure you get a corn silk. So today, you can see I brought you here and I'm introducing you. Let me go and fetch few of the corn silk and come back. Yes, corn silk. You see, we have them. Eh? We have them here. So you see, I am picking them one after the other. Yes, it is called corn silk. One of the most powerful, you know, uh, remedy for prostate disorders and prostate issues. Yes. Done with don't wait till it becomes you know uh very serious and luckily corn silk is sold virtually everywhere eh? so don't tell me you are in europe you can't get corn silk no you can get corn silk yes corn silk is virtually everywhere so you see that corn silk eh? you harvest it from the cone of the corn eh? so this is the the corn 
developing and on top of the corn cone you see a silk a hairy you know substance so this is how it, it looks like huh? it looks like a hair hmm? check it out see it looks like a hair huh? it comes in different colors depending on where it is growing huh? yes but they are all the same corn silk check it out yes this is corn silk another one another remedy huh? another remedy for prostate is we call it saw palmito saw palmito saw palmito uh, saw palmito is is not found here in africa i haven't seen saw palmito plant here yet yes but saw palmito can be found in europe yes saw palmito and the good thing is that any grocery any herbal shop you know around you or supplement shop when you go just ask them you know corn silk or saw palmito you get it but if you are here in africa or you you can get you know corn silk like this you are lucky very very lucky man for that matter um all you need to do is to get a few of the corn silk like this boil them wash it very nicely boil them when you boil don't add anything boil them in a the form of tea and make sure you drink about three cups of the tea morning afternoon evening morning afternoon evening in a day three cups in a day is going to be sufficient make sure you continue to drink it until you begin to see that your urine you don't struggle to urinate anymore until you begin to see that your urine is flowing with vigor your urine is flowing with power and then until you also begin to see that your power in the other room is what is coming back uh, so you give yourself about a month or two or three maximum three months of using it and in doing so i am advising you to desist from eating red meat or too much animal protein anytime as a man you go to the washroom it takes you about 30 seconds before the urine will begin to flow or the urine is not flowing with power your urine is dribbling please the moment you see that stop eating too much animal protein animal protein such as eggs animal protein such as chicken fish red meat and so on and so forth reduce it you reduce the intake of animal protein because the more protein you eat the what the the enlarge the more the prostate gland will be, will be what will be enlarged because uh when there is too much uric acid uh, it affects the prostate to be inflamed prostatitis is just an inflammation of the prostate gland you understand uh -huh. so very very powerful just go look for corn silk and then make a tea of it and start healing yourself because always as i say the herbs are for the healing of the nation just visit any corn silk tea or corn silk farm you can, corn farm you can see uh, this is a backyard corn farm you know yes a backyard corn farm and you can get the what the corn silk and start healing yourself because uh it will be very very you know painful to, to, to see a man, a full grown man who cannot urinate. Yes, the last time, uh, some time ago, I was traveling to, you know, to the capital, Accra. And, you know, all those who have been using the Kumasi Accra Road, there is a popular joint, uh, a popular rest stop. We call it Linda Door. We got to a Linda Door, and all of us were asked to, you know, ease ourselves. So we all went to the, you know, washroom to ease ourselves. There was a man just close to me. Uh, but we were coming back from Accra to Kumasi. We were coming back from Accra to Kumasi. From Accra to Kumasi. There was a man, you know, he was his, his, in his 50s, getting to yeah, 52, 53, there about. He was just, you know, standing, you know, just by me. I finished urinating this man. In fact, virtually everybody you know, finish urinating. This man is still struggle to drop, to bring out one drop of urine. So I, I became curious, even though I had finished urinating myself, but I pretended as if I'm still urinating just to, just to, you know, observe what is going on. And this man was struggling. This man was struggling, struggling here and there, 
just to bring some drops of urine and it took him about let's say two three minutes if i'm not exaggerating and, and i'm not mistaken it took him for more than one minute getting to two minutes before the urine you know started flowing and when the urine was flowing in fact the urine started flowing before i left and when the urine was flowing it was flowing very 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 with very low pressure so what I did was that I just, you know, uh, um, went out and then waited for him at the gate of the washroom. And when he came out, I introduced him. I told him by word of mouth because uh, at that time, we, I didn't have any consec over there. But I told him that when he go home, uh, he should go look for consec, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he collected my number. And ever since, I've never heard from him again. And we never saw each other, you know, since then. You understand? So it is very, very painful. It is very, very, you know, unfortunate event. Uh, you feeling the urine agency to go urinate. You just all for all, 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 all for you to go to the urine uh, uh, washroom and the urine will not come. It is because your prostate is getting enlarged. So the earlier you begin to address these symptoms, these signs and symptoms, the better for you. Because at the end of the day, when it becomes out of hand, when you, you end up not able to urinate at all, the only option for you is to be inserted with catheter at that juncture. You understand? And it is, it is quite, unfortunately, it, it will be quite, you know, a difficult moment. So please, let us use consul to heal ourselves because the herbs are always for the healing of the nation all right if any if you have any question you can ask regarding our topic you can ask then we call it a day i don't want to you know spend much time i have a lot of things to do but i said no let me use few minutes to talk to you good morning sir please is is, is it the dry or fresh one both dried and then fresh one uh, if it is dried very good the dried one is even more better or the fresh one so you can just fetch many have this dry them and then you start making tea out of it okay yes very very important isaac isaac thank you um taiwo alas and believer uh, vessel bentoyin you are all welcome k budu you are all welcome charles ajare i see you uh usman abubakar usman i see you i see you Okay, I'm coming. All right, excuse me. Please, sir, what is the preservative for, for boiled herbs? The best preservative, natural preservative, is cloves. Uh, cloves. If you want to preserve any, you know, herb, herbal medicine that you have boiled and you don't want, to, you don't want it to go bad, use cloves and uh, put about small amount of cloves to it and boil together. And everything is going to be okay. All right, so that is that. Thanks, Big. You are the best. Thank you, Calvin, Steven. Uh, please, okay. Good morning. I'm washing from uh, Liberia, West Africa. What is the quantity to be boiled? It doesn't matter. Use your own discretion. Maybe a handful will go. A handful, this, you know, quantity you can see will probably go with at least uh, 500 to 600 ml of water. And then you boil it. When you boil it for 10 minutes, that's all you can be drinking make sure 
you finish the whole tea by the end of the day then the next time to you boil another one okay yeah good morning sir thank you for the losing long life thank you adewale thank you all right uh you can see i have been receiving several calls people are waiting for me at the office so let me end it here uh and in the evening god willing uh, i'll come live again on my other page on my main page okay secrets of health okay yes god willing in the evening from 4 30 p.m going uh, i'll come live once again on my other page which is the main page secrets of health secret this is secrets of health tv and then we have secrets of health and in case you are from secrets of health watching secrets of health tv this live show please kindly follow this new page this is our new page and i thank all of you who have been following this page uh this page is now growing uh we are now somewhere around 100 and you know 1000 you know subscribers which is a very good you know sign which shows that indeed you people are loyal anywhere i will go you are going to support me keep supporting and keep making this page you know very big as well as you have done to the main one secrets of health thank you so let's meet again on secrets of health let's meet again on secrets of health and then i'll see what will happen uh and until then have a nice day what please what's the name for justice kia kanya also known as blood of jesus yes we have justicia kanya in ghana we call it yesu moja yes and that is the name i know justicia kanya that is the name i know please what can you introduce for fiber i will be doing a video on it in subsequently you know the week have just started monday so who knows maybe uh, within the week we will be bringing you you know more live videos stay blessed and have a good day take care i wish you good luck let's meet at 4 30 pm on my other page bye